Hello friends, today we will be looking at the CAN variation in the Sicilian line. As you know, we'll continuing our series on Sicilian defense and discussing the different variations available in the Sicilian lines. Let's have a look at what encompasses CAN variation. Um, we will we need to flip the board as our focus will be from the black um, like uh, most of the Sicilian lines so where e, white starts with e4 and c5 as you all know that's the Sicilian defense um, knight f3 and here you play e6 d4 can be played where c takes d4 and knight takes d4 you are very familiar with this uh, structure so far but here a6 the Sicilian defense is widely known as one of the most solid defenses against white the can variation rushes to play a6 first and stop white from being coming to advancing knight to b5 or bishop to d5 this is a very common theme in many Sicilian variations like we also seen in the Nidov variation but Khan variation uh, plays a6 earlier. From here there are three main responses for white. One is bishop to c3. The other is knight to c3 and Queen to d3 is also very common in most of the games. So we will be looking at each one of those. So let's start with knight c3. From here, black wants to play knight to g6, but the problem is this pawn at e4, which will be pushed attacking on this knight. There isn't any defense available to stop e5. If you're playing knight off, uh, so you know that in knight off, this pawn is you as at d6 protecting this e5 square. In this case, you really have no option then to break the opening principles and move the knight again to say d5. In this option, um, knight takes d5, and when e takes d5, uh, black opening will be destroyed black will have a double pawn at the d file uh, which can easily be exploited by queen to f3 and it will be difficult defending this pawn and sooner or later it will fall so instead of playing knight f6 black needs to control this e5 square first and there are two main options available so knight to c6 or queen to c7 let's have a look at both the options first knight to c6 controlling this f uh, this e5 square so other knight can come on to f6 um, so black here can also try to uh, control this e5 square i can move his dark square bishop to f4 uh, if that's the case, you can still play knight f6 uh, because if black now plays, uh, pushes a pawn to e5, queen c7 is still possible. You can capture my knight and I will capture your bishop. Uh, and I have a bishop pair which can be a big advantage in the end games. Say instead of playing bishop b4, f4, moves his light square bishop to e2 not worrying about this if e5 square so go ahead and move queen c7 placing queen and knight on the c file is going to be critical if you're going to play Khan variation if white wants to be really aggressive uh, it can play pawn to f4 this is going to be very similar to king's gambit uh, other option is castle on king's side. Friends, if you don't want to play knight c6 here, you the other option is queen c to c7. If you see bishop to e2, continue with the same thing, um, knight to c6. Maybe you could see um, 
queen to f3 here again continue with knight to c6 but if you play knight c6 earlier uh, you cannot see now queen to d3 because then knight can capture this knight at d4 and that will be a huge mistake that in any case if white tries to capture this knight uh, this knight at well knight takes um, c6 go ahead and take it with your b pawn you can take it with your d pawn as well uh, but i do like to control the center of the board and you do have the b file open for your rook which will be a big plus from black hair now let's go back and see bishop to d3 instead of knight to c3 uh, just centralizing the bishop and getting ready to castle um, here knight to f6 is a recommended move because you do want to castle on to the king side uh, now you don't want to castle on queen side because the c file is half open and your king will be exposed there there is also a nice little trap if white pushes his pawn now to attack on this knight. Uh, since c3 square is open, queen to a5 check uh, will help you win this pawn. Um, I'll show you how. Uh, it will be blocked by knight to c3 and then queen takes d5 check help you win this pawn for free so if you're playing with black and khan variation knight to f6 is your go-to move uh, to set up this trap another option from black here is to play knight c6 instead of playing knight f6 and uh, if uh, white tries to exchange no problem capture it with your b pawn and enjoy the center uh, if white moves his knight back to f3 then you can take out of your uh, knight at f3 uh, knight c3 and queen c7 to follow same game game plan as before uh, but bishop g5 is possible in this case knight to g4 uh, and if white attacks on this knight from h3 uh, knight e5 is the square which has a double protection from the knight and the queen so there are a couple of options which uh, you may see so let's go back a bit uh, and instead of uh, yeah here instead of playing knight c6 or bishop uh, queen b7 bishop c5 is also an option attacking onto the knight in this case knight back to f3 is passive i would suggest uh, take the knight to b3 uh, is a good attacking option and at, uh, onto the bishop the bishop should be coming back to a7 is ideal uh, bishop to e7 is also a possibility it will allow knight to develop on f6 and castle onto the king side but bishop f7 i believe is better attacking on this weak f7 pawn which is a huge weakness of the white so after bishop to a7 knight to c3 knight to c6 common development moves and then castle onto the king side um, knight f6 all of those are pretty standard moves so friend, and the last variation which we will see instead of playing bishop d3 queen d3 is also played in so many games and in this uh, case i recommend play the same lines as queen to c7 uh, knight to c6 is also possible though knight c3 is the most common move you will see and uh, then again knight um, f6 uh, yeah here yeah. um, some cases you will see the um, queen goes to the g3 spot and asking for queen exchanges you can do the queen exchange but i will show you another uh, nice little trap here uh, mostly uh, people 
play um, here e2 uh, which you can counter with h5 and uh, what you're trying to do is if white castles here onto the next move you can you you try to go to the uh, g4 and attacking onto this long diagonal and even if black, white captures uh, with the bishop, go ahead, capture it, and you will still have attacking onto this. You will have an open edge file. You have an open uh, C di diagonal. Your bishop can also join the party, and this will be a nice little game, a fun game to play here with. Um, so, friends, this was the Khan variation for you. Let me know how you like this video. Um, please do subscribe the channel if you are finding those videos, uh, those tutorials useful. Um, do leave your comment. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.